explain what a cupping is. So basically a cupping is uh, an in-depth coffee tasting. So uh, instead of just, you know, drinking a cup of coffee and thinking about what that tastes like, we uh, actually get our nose more involved. Um, I've heard people say that if your nose isn't covered in coffee grounds by the end of it, you're not really doing a cupping. We're going to grind some of these coffees up. Uh, we're going to uh, pour some water on them. We're going to let them sit for four minutes. Uh, then we're going to uh, take off some grounds and uh, slurp some coffee. Slurping, so it's not a dainty. It's like, and you can't hear it. Like, if your neighbors can't hear it. It's not a good slurp. It gets really dangerous to start talking about distinct flavors. Uh, like, oh, this one tastes like marshmallows, or this one uh, tastes uh, of distinctively of uh, elderflowers, but um, what's uh, better uh, practice is to start saying, uh, talking about acidity, body, finish, and sweetness. Um, coffee can never have enough sweetness, and it can have varying amounts of acidity and body, uh, but those are pretty much standard right across the board, where once a coffee has been roasted, uh, it's, it has a specific amount of body and a specific amount of acidity. Uh, depending on your roasting or your brewing methods, you might uh, bring a bit more of one of the two out, but it's pretty much set once that's happened. Uh, Yuli and I were saying that uh, the Guatemala, which is a single origin, um, we, uh, she said it smelled a lot like uh, Earl Grey tea, and I thought that was pretty apt. The, uh, the tasting notes uh, were of uh, orange blossoms, uh, nectarine, and uh, uh, red grape. Um, so it's a lot of citrusy kind of that same kind of stuff you're gonna find in your traditional uh, Earl Grey. So yeah. Um, but again, don't dwell too much on specific tastes. Just more. Yeah, this reminds me of something, and then talk about it. That's how you start getting calibrated with each other start using a common terminology to describe companies. 